this week we're going to be applying topsoil and top dressing and seeding. You can see the existing grass and what we've got to do is level and smooth out and see how we're going to take out all the bigger stuff off the surface. Initially clearing all the bits of grass off here we don't want, clearing off all the big stones and then we're going to tread it ready for prep to put the soil on and uh, once the grading has been done I'll show you again and then tomorrow we'll show the tops off. The main area at the back we've now graded. The only difference I did here is I've used a uh, soil rake rather than a landscaper's rake because there was so much compacted chalk at the surface which you wouldn't normally get. The smaller head has made it a lot easier to actually get through and actually take all of the big stuff out. It's about 70 square metres taken out about 20 wheels barrows just of stones. Haven't needed to go too deep into the soil surface because we're going to be putting about one to two inches of graded soil on the surface so we haven't had to go down too far. So as you can see everything's ready and prepared to go and all we need to do now is actually bring around the eight tons of soil. Doesn't look like it needs that much but surprisingly soil doesn't actually get any, anything in bulk, doesn't go very very far. The only real tough bits were these little bits. Part of what we've been doing while we've been clearing out all the stones from the main area that needs top dressing with topsoil and seeding is uh, on the lawn areas we've found quite a lot of flint bits of brick and concrete and other bits of stones that have been stuck in the lawn so what we're doing there as well is actually tidying up filling in the holes so with your topsoil just using a trowel push it in with your fingers into the holes where you've taken the stones out just to give it a little bit of compression because if you don't do this what will happen is that over time or especially with some rain they'll just sink by themselves so you want to make sure that it's reasonably well compacted when it goes in always put in more than you think you need if you just put just enough when you compact it down, what you'll find is it'll actually dip. Now, as now, even that, that needs a little bit more. Put up at the top here, a little bit of compression on the surface, and then just gently run your hand over the top. Bits of rubbish or bits of moss you get, just take those out. And just literally run your hand over the surface gently, and that will roughen up the surface a little bit. And now that's ready and prepared just to take seed. And um, what you can do is you can sift over some soil over the top of that to help protect it from the birds. They'll still have quite a good go, but that's uh, that's just simple way just catching those and filling those in and if we come over here we can have a look and see what we've done so far this is how it's come up uh, here so we've uh, carried on work on the left hand side here still got quite a lot but this will just be the base layer of topsoil that we'll be having to start with in a little while once I've finished the last half of the second bulk bag to put down here what we're also going to do is if you look where the edge of the lawn is here you can see there's a little bit of a dip from the grass down we're actually going to smooth and level that out completely so just in front of where you can see the rake, the soil is going to come out about four feet and we're going to try and smooth and level that off completely. When that's done I'll show you again uh, and that's just to try and make as smooth a uh, gradual line as possible so that uh, the result that we get at the end is as best we can get. Um, and as we go around this side I reckon that we're probably going to use about five bolt bags on this side just because the depth here is in some places about half a foot. Uh, normally one bulk bag 50 mil deep will cover 12 square meters and this side is about 50 square meters and in some places we're doing a lot deeper than two inches so it's going to take quite a bit and I would imagine we're going to try and grade this slope quite a bit to try and smooth it off as best we can but as we go we'll see how it works. The other thing we're going to do here I put these laurels in about a month ago and um, the steps here hadn't actually been done at that point. So now that they're in, we've now got a new level along here. So what I'm actually gonna do is take these last three out and actually bring the level of the lawn right up to the edge of where these steps are. So right up to the, the bevel they've put underneath the capping stones. And then that'll make that a lot smoother, make it a lot easier to actually cut the grass afterwards. And where they've stored all the stones, brickwork, cement, sand, and now me with the soil, we can get this all tidied up and finished off properly. So we'll actually get a really, really good finish as to how the grass will be. Okay, that'll be hopefully later on today. Probably getting onto this bit, probably be tomorrow morning. But uh, we'll have a look, see how we get on later today. We've now shifted uh, five tonnes of topsoil. Everything around to this side is done. I think we've got enough soil on the surface over here. I might need to add in another three or four wheelbarrows just to get the levels that I want. Now I've along this side and got everything up to these coping stones. We've got three bags left. I've got a whole feeling it's not actually going to be enough. But we'll see if we can smooth the lines out and see what we can do. As long as we get the levels along the edge here so it's flush with the surface so that when the seed grows, the lawnmower can actually run along the edge of the coping stone, so it's actually got a good surface to run on. It means it can either run with either a roller or a lawnmower that's actually got four separate wheels. Tomorrow we'll finish laying out the soil at the back here, do a, a rake and grade and another tread, and then that should be ready to seed later in the week. Okay, all the seeding's finished. I've now gone over the surface and gently raked over the surface to actually put some of the soil over the top of the seed. One helps with the germination, but also stops a fair amount of the seeds going from the birds taking it. Now we need to water. Now, when you're watering, firstly, you need to do it when the sun's off it, so you need to be in shade like we are now. Done it a little bit, but there's a lot of heat gone out of the sun, so it's okay. And when you water, you don't water 
at the soil, water your hose up in the air so it falls like light rain. So a setting like that it takes quite a while to do, but it's the best way to get the moisture into the soil and actually give your new lawn the best start. Right, I'm going to finish up here. That's all from me for today. With the germination taking one week to three weeks to get going and then another three to four weeks for the grass to actually get to the length that we want before we do the first cut, which is two to three inches. I hope that uh, once this video is done, I'll be able to come back in a month and a half, two months, and all this should look like lush green grass. And we'll get some photos and a bit of final video from here, and then we'll show you what the result's like. So see you in a couple of months.